Ben Pearson, Minnesota MMA News, here with Rocky Magdalena. Rocky, we're pumped to have you in Minnesota. I know there's been a lot of hype surrounding you for a long time. Jeremy and the boys have been talking about you for a while. Um, how pumped are you to be here finally uh, fighting in Minnesota? I'm excited. Minnesota is a pretty, pretty wild state for some MMA, and they've definitely welcomed me. So I'm excited to show them what I've been working for. Mm -hmm. And you've been going with uh, a lot of people. You're with Rufus. Yep, I train there. Yep. Are there a lot of women there for you to train with? Um, no. I uh, just recently one of the other girls that's been working there for a while started getting into it. Now she wants to com compete and train. So now I have a girl to train with. Before I was just doing classes and trying to learn as much as I could. And now there's a girl that knows and wants to fight. So and nice. she's perfect. We are opposites. I'm wrestling and boxing. She's jujitsu and kickboxing. So it's like fireworks when we're training. It's awesome. Now, you're fighting Rochelle Bacon. I don't know, do you know much about her? Have you heard anything? Um, no, I haven't heard anything about her. I, um, since I've been fighting, well, I've only had four fights, but since I've been fighting, I don't do any research on any of my opponents. I just, I only have enough time to work on myself, so I, I don't even really know what her record is. I know that she's from Wisconsin, too. Okay. That's about all I know, but I don't know if she has a specific style or anything. I don't know. With you, you're a wrestler. There's not uh, there's not that many females in MMA that have that strong wrestling base like you do. How much of an advantage is that for you every time you get in the cage? I think I have a, a very good advantage of wrestling. Um, everything, the discipline, the and it's not like I you know I've been wrestling since I was in the third grade, two years in college, and you know it's the discipline, the year round wrestling, not just high school. You know, the three seasons. Events. No, it's. You know, training. We have camps all summer, and we, you know, we do freestyle, then we go into folk style and Greco. And you know, it was it wasn't a, a season; it was all year, every year, growing up for us. So I have a very good. I think that wrestling is the best background to have, and it just you know everything, hip control and just movement and being comfortable. You know, it's not a team sport. I mean, it is, but it's not. Once you go in that cage, it's just you. You know, everybody's looking at you. You know, I'm used to that. I'm used to that. So. There's nobody else to look at too when you lose. No, Wrestling nope. And, or can't blame anything. And, and, right? You know, other team sports. I don't think people. Everybody else. I, I cover wrestling at, at the newspaper in Rochester, Minnesota. So it's kind of been my beat for like 15 years. And everybody asks me why, why do wrestlers cry afterwards? It's because there's nobody else to look at when you have to walk away from that man you lost. And, and mm -hmm. there's kind of that going on in MMA too. Oh yeah. I mean, is that a, you talk about the mental side of it? How about with cutting weight for you? I don't know if you've ever had to cut a ton um, of weight for, for I, either. No, I've never really had to cut weight. Um, it's uh, There's five of us in my family, we all wrestled. So my mom made sure our diet was on point. You know, like she ate healthy, she ran, she runs every single day, she still does. So, you know, it was a, it, it's just a lifestyle. It, we've been living it my whole life. Um, just recently, since I moved to Milwaukee, I've been on the all organic, you know, non-GMO, you know, completely and science, you know, scientifically, I've been, you know, figuring out my meal plans and everything like that. And it's just, this is the lowest I've weighed since seventh grade, 114.8. Like I haven't weighed that since, literally since seventh grade. So it's it's awesome to just be able to walk in and feel strong. Like I, I've been, I ate till yesterday, you know, I just haven't eaten today, but I have now after I weighed in, but you know, it's, it's, it's definitely helped me, you know, it's, it's my life. I don't, this isn't training camp, you know, I don't have fight fight camp, I don't have that. I just do it yeah. every single day. What uh, What do you want to work on in this fight? I, mean, I know it's stand up. Uh, okay, I was, I was hoping you'd say that. I, I, I really want to keep it stand up. Hands and I just want to, um, I think my last fight, it was, she had like seven inches on me, so it was like every time I went in, I just got, you know, and I hadn't been sparring yet, because that girl hadn't been to the gym yet, so I had just, you know, went in there like a deer in headlights. I hadn't had any hits at my face. You know, you, that's a, that's a comfort zone when somebody's punching at your face. You know, you want to shut them all the time. But I've been sparring a lot lately, and you know, I train with the pros. Like I don't train with them, but practice with them. So we do five minute rounds, not three minute rounds, like amateur, like I do. So I have a feeling that you know, since I've been training a lot at Rufus and with the pros, that I'm you know everything. I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be right now. Nice. So how long before we see you turn pro? I mean, do you feel like you're close to that? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I'm not. I, I'm, not I'm not confident enough with my stand-up. You know, I am if there wasn't 
kicks involved. And, you know, that kicking is... for wrestling, though. You just grab that leg I in know, your... but if you get a good kickboxer... It's, it's dangerous. Yes, it, it really is. I mean, and my training partner, she's a good kickboxer, so I've had my leg beaten up the past few months. It's been, you know, pretty bad, but... I was going to say, it's also hard to find pro fights for a female fighter. I mean, unless yeah. you get to a Dicta or somewhere... It's hard. It's hard to find legit pro fights for females. It seems like I can't believe there's not very many women wrestlers though with them. Because I mean, I think that here, but I think that maybe they just put so much work in growing up and in high school and in college that they're done. Yeah. Like I thought I was done. I went to college and I got blew my shoulder out. I had shoulder surgery, and I was like, I'm never gonna do a sport like that again. You know, my body's worth more than that. <laughs> then my brother introduced me to this stuff, and I just fell in love. He's like, it's like wrestling, but you can punch. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. <laughs> so I was nice. excited. Nice. All right, Rocky Magdaleno, get ready, Minnesota. You're going to get introduced to, uh, to what she's all about. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Yep.